You're watching the Business Channel, creating business class programs. Alumask manufactures and supplies products for the construction industry. Well, we're going to hear from two spokespeople from the company, but first let's talk to Divisional MD Gilbert Jackson. Hello to you. Hello to you. Now tell me a little bit more about the company. The company is split into two divisions. The first division is the building products division and we also have an engineering division as well. Our primary locations are down in Burton Latimer and up in St Helens. We manufacture a range of uh, building products for the construction industry um, which cover internal and external applications. Now your particular division which is the external building products, what is that all about? The external building products division manufactures drainage products for the built environment. We were looking at advanced technologies in terms of stormwater management. Uh, we also manufacture facade systems, waterproofing systems, other drainage systems, rainwater systems, and there are a number of internal applications as well. Now, do you mainly work on new build or is it retrofit and refurb? And are there any particular sectors? Is it commercial or is it maybe hospitals or schools? Yeah, primarily we're working in the new build area, particularly in the drainage areas, but uh, we do some elements of retrofit as well. We do some uh, high-end commercial work. We also do retail developments, hospitals, schools, uh, basically any type of new building. Well, let's now speak to Andrew Lee, who is Specification Manager with Alumask Rainwater and Drainage. Hello to you. Hello. Now, tell me a little bit more about the products and services that you offer to SIBSI and SOFI members. The products we offer are all drainage related, specifically flat roof drainage, but we have more recently diversified into linear drainage products as well uh, for buried drainage. But the products specifically, rainwater outlets used on flat roof construction and also internal rainwater soil and waste drainage systems in cast iron. And we have a very good relationship with engineers but also with architects because what we do and what we make, there is an interrelationship between engineer and architect. For example, the engineer designs the building drainage. Uh, the architect has the role of ensuring that it fits the building. We have a role to play there where quite often, particularly in situations of tricky detailing, there's a re specialist requirement in order to get the drainage to work. And what do you do to help the design process? Our involvement uh, covers several different areas. Uh, we've recently produced a calculator software. This has been particularly successful. That's not to say that engineers don't know how to calculate, but certainly the calculator saves a great deal of time in sizing rainwater, pipe work, drainage capacities, in particular different areas of the UK where conditions vary. But we do a lot of listening as well and we know that web-based information and availability of information from our website is particularly important. In the context of self-help, we find a lot of specification is derived from immediate access to our website and that is a great help to architects and engineers alike. So innovative building services and engineering are very important to SIBSI members and how important is, is new products and innovation in your business? Extremely important, almost a lifeblood. Uh, we are a very forward focused business, do a lot of listening to our customers, take careful note of what's being required. 2014 is a particularly important year for us. We are launching new ranges of floor drainage products. They are linear, stainless steel, unitary, in cast iron, in plastic. And we're continuing with our very popular range of aluminium gullies. But a comprehensive product offer in below ground drainage and of course we're continuing to develop our ranges in above ground drainage as well, our rainwater ranges. Well Andrew Lee, thank you very much. Thank you. Well we're back now with Gilbert and I'd like to ask you what innovations do you think that we're going to see in the way that buildings are engineered say over the next 10 years with reference to water drainage systems? In 10 years time really we're looking at more amenity for the buildings, use of green space, um, functionality, energy conservation and lightening the load on the existing infrastructure. So new products are primarily aimed at those uh, ideals and we're looking at drainage facilities that prevent water flash flooding. So we have a range of harm products, 
that prevent water flash flooding into the system from roofs, attenuation systems on the roof instead of the very expensive alternative which of course is digging into the ground itself. And other items that we supply and install such as green roofs will help use up that water and provide some green living space as well. And what do you think it is that's driving innovation? Is it people are trying to cut costs? Is it sustainability? It's really cost life cycles, so there's a cost element of course to every new product development, but the demand from the end client, the engineers, Sophie and Sipsi, they're looking for us to come up with systems that are looking to give that whole life cost stability in their design system and to enable them to design a building that's going to be functional for its use and also to create a more enhanced living atmosphere. Well Gilbert Jackson, thank you very much. Thank you very much.